Hi Thunder family, welcome back to Your Thunder News. I'm Isaac Williams. And I'm Sebastian Sharp, and we will be your anchors this week. Do you need a new pair of socks? HOSA is partnering with We Help Too for their Super Singles Sock Sale, which will run until December 12th. For every four pairs of socks sold, We Help Too will donate a pair to Mandy's Pantry. If you're interested, talk to any of the HOSA members or Mrs. Karkow in room 225, and they can get you your order. They are $6 per pair, and cash or check is accepted, but all checks must be written to the ASB. Make sure to mark your calendars for the Jolly Jamboree, brought to you by Mound View Instrumental, December 12th in the auditorium. If you made an order for the poinsettia sale, pickup is tomorrow from 1 to 3 p.m. at Mountain View. Make sure you get your order. Seniors, the deadline for yearbook photos has been extended to December 5th. This is your final extension, so if you still need to get yours in, do it quickly. You must upload your photo to hjeshare.com. The password is Go Thunder. Also on December 5th is the deadline for senior dedication pages. Email Mrs. Nemo for questions or order forms. Have you stopped by the student store yet? We are headed there right now to see their selection. Welcome, Welcome to, to the student, student store. store. <laughs> we are located outside the cafeteria in the courtyard. You can enter in through the garage doors or the doors. Some of our prices, um, we have pizza for just $2, snacks are usually around a dollar, and our drinks range from two to four. You should come to the student store because we have great prices right here on campus. You should drop by and get our specialty, which is a lightning bolt, our take on an energy drink. We are open during both lunches. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you there. <laughs> The following information can be found in your Canvas grad class. WCV is hosting admissions 101 sessions until December 16th. Get informed about the application process, financial aid, and degrees, and more. Digipin Institute of Technology is hosting a preview day on Saturdays, December 10th in Redmond, Washington. Learn about degree programs, meet staff and students, and explore the campus. On December 7th, WSUV is hosting a scholarships 101 information night from 6 to 7 p.m. You will learn where to find the best scholarships and how to write winning essays. Seniors, save the day for an on-the-spot admissions event for Central Washington University. It will be held on Tuesday, December 13th in the Career Center. Check the canvas for an updated time. The following lunch visits will be in the Career Center. On Tuesday, December 6th, a representative from Southern Oregon University will visit during both lunches. On Wednesday, December 7th, a representative from University of Arizona will be here during first lunch only. On Thursday, December 8th, we will have WSUV and the U.S. Navy visiting during both lunches. Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Thunder Sports. Varsity Basketball has a home game at 3 tomorrow. Junior Varsity has a game at 1.30. Girls Basketball has a game against Union, and there's another one on the 6th against Prairie. For both games, Varsity will play at 7 p.m. and JV will play at 5.30. On the 7th, we have a wrestling match against Skyview uh, at 7 p.m. Girls Bowling has, has a match on the 6th against Skyview, and on the 7th against Battleground. Both will happen at 3 15 at Big Owls. Go to GoThunder.org for any changes in the schedule. Ahoy hoy! Welcome to Thunder Conundrum. Chris, say hi. Hello. Crabs, 11 billion. Your thoughts? Let's go! I didn't know they disappeared. That's, that's a shocker right there. We must perform an investigation of what happened to the crabs. This loss is devastating to our country, and there will be a hunger crisis because of it. I think it sucks for the crabs, because you know I like crabs. How is this going to affect LeBron's legacy? I hope their families find them, I guess. That sucks. I can't have crabs. No, I love crabs. I love, I love my crab. I prefer lobsters. That's tough. I don't really care. 11 billion crabs, well one, I'll start it off with that's a tragedy. Like, clearly like, my prayers go out to them. I hope they can get back to their families. They're probably working a nine to five. That job needs them. That's gonna crash the economy. It's gonna be difficult. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I ate them, I ate them. I am a I am a
All right, that's all for this week, folks. Uh, see you next time. My name is Isaac Williams, and I'm Sebastian Sharp, and, and welcome, welcome to, to Game, game Review. Review. This week, we will be reviewing the game Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is a very fun and interesting game to play with its action-packed gameplay. This multiplayer game is a 5 on 5 competitive match based style. Overwatch 2 is technically a sequel to the first one, but it's basically the same thing. It just has a few more characters in it and added more fixes to it. Yes it is, face the facts. This game is very fun to play with friends and also can be rated. But that still gives it a 4.5 out of 5 out of The universe, it sings to me. What is that melody? What kind of cars do Santa's all drive? Oh. Toyotas. <laughs> Make sure to tune in next week to hear about holiday arrangements by the floral department. Remember to reserve your yearbook before January 1st because the prices will go up $5 then. Now they are $45 with ASB and $50 with talent. Thank you for watching your Thunder News. See you next week. Go, Go thunder. thunder! I think we got it. I think that's it.